Hi everyone, it's Dee from Why Padakuri Soaps. I'm just doing a quick um, soap tonight. It's just a, a remake of um, my Beware soap. Um, in the bowl here I have all my oils. Um, olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil and beeswax. Now for this one I've done a bit of higher percentage of beeswax um, than I did last time. So oils are quite thick even before I've added the lye. Um, I've also got um, kale and kay, um, oatmeal, honey, milk powder and coconut cream. So the fragrance I'm using is um, oatmeal, milk and honey uh, from Zen Designs here in New Zealand. Um, and um, I really like it and I've had good feedback from it because the soap itself actually looks quite natural. So it's a simple soap. Um, I'm just going to do an in the pot swirl um, and um, no piping or anything tonight um, and just put it to bed before I go to bed. So now my lie's a little bit warmer than I normally do it. I have had it in a cold water bath, but because of um, time for straights tonight, I'm going to risk it and soak a little bit with the lie a little bit warmer than normal. And I have just heard my family come home, so I'm going to put you on hold because I guarantee they'll come in noisy. Hi, I'm back. Um, all the family's here, I'll just put my gloves on. Um, I've just come back from the grocery store and put all the groceries away. So, I had hoped to get this done before they got back, but my temperatures took a wee bit longer to, to go down than I expected. So, let's have a look. There's still a bit of disparagement between the temperatures, but they should be low enough now. So I'm just going to um, strain my lye water because I've got um, Silk, salt, and sugar in it. Turn the, the big light on, shall we? There we go. That's better. Okay. So, so as I was saying, I'm just going to do an in the pot swirl with cocoa. It's one colour. And white is the other. to leave the colour and you'll find because I've got honey in here that it will sort of go a golden milk and honey fragrance. So the soap itself has actually got oatmeal, milk and honey in it. And beeswax. I'm 
and the fragrance just colours to is the uh, soap as well to a light tan so it's going to be interesting to see what colour this ends up being right. so in this jug here I've got um, some titanium dioxide and in this one here I've got some cocoa that I've dissolved in a little hot water So I'm just hand mixing these colours in because I don't want to overbeat the batter or the swirl. look here you can see how the uh, main bed with the, just the natural colours of the soap and the fragrance is turning a sort of golden yellow colour now because this bed is quite thick it's probably not going to drop too well so just I'm do it from a height now. Right. And drop the cocoa into two sections. I don't want to keep anything for the top, so I'll put all of it in there. So which is just a lighter creamy colour. Now I was having problems with my soap staying too loose, especially when I was doing piping, so I've sort of adopted a water discount which means that everything thickens up a little bit quicker now um, but I don't think that will matter too much for the swirl right so I'm going to do the swirl a little bit different because it's so thick so I'm going to bring it up get it through See, it's quite thick.
beat down. Just get a skewer. Right. So I'm not really putting swirls in here. I'm just just using the movement to flatten out the top because what I actually want to do is. Um, some bubble wrap on top. Right. Let's clean that up. There's a little bit of mica. This is just mica and oil. So what happens overnight is that the oil gets absorbed into the soap and just leaves the mica behind on the top. Some bit. Just pushing that in there so the soap actually fills up the cavities in between the bubbles. And come tomorrow, I'll have a look at a little. Honeycomb effect. The rest of the stuff I'm going to pour into these soap moulds and I might 
have a couple of samples. But, um, I shall finish that later. As I said, this is going to just be a quick video today. Um, and I'll bring you back for the cutting. Thanks for watching. This is Steve from Waipata Kori Soaps. Until next time. Hi everyone, I'm back for the cutting of uh, Beware, which is um, oatmeal mil uh, milk and honey loaf. Um, that's how the, the loaf turned out. Um, it's uh, not quite 48 hours old. I, um, I moulded it last night um, and left it to sit um, before I cut it. Um, so I'm going to use my wavy cutter today, um, but before I do that I thought I might show you a little sample bars that um, I made with the leftover from the batch. I just put, put it into um, little single um, soap cake moulds um, and I've cut them in half with the wavy cutter at both ends and I like, like nice little guest soap so they'll be free samples that will be going out to friends and family and customers right now because um, I don't have a guide that this fits into at the moment, I haven't made one. Um, I'm going to be freehanding this, so this should be really, really interesting. Um, I'm going to use my ruler, um, which is about an inch wide, um, as my guide. I'm not too sure. Uh, Okay, here goes. I push straight down deep. Okay, there we go, there's the first cut. So we've got the bubble wrap indentation on the top to simulate honeycomb and the crinkle cut on the side. Oh, there we go. It's a bit of a swirl in there with the cocoa and the lighter bit is, is the soap that I use the titanium dioxide in. Now the last time I made this soap, although I didn't um, videotape it at the time, um, I did the same sort of design. However I made a taller loaf and unfortunately it was too tall for my cutter. So it left impressions in the soap. Um, when I tried to cut right through to the bottom, but this time I thought while well, I'm making the flat top and the the standard size soap mould works perfectly. And of course the end piece will have one side crinkle and one side flat. Okay, well thanks for watching. Um, I will uh, do some stills um, for you to have a good close up look at the end of the video. Um, and this is Dee from Waipurikuri Soap signing off. Until next time.